appropriate that we should hold our commemorative service here at Caterpillar Valley, the Caterpillar Valley Cemetery, surrounded by the graves or memorials to nearly 5,600 years of the fire that was the Battle of the Somme. To stand here and remember what these men went through is indeed a humbling experience. New Zealand's losses in the Battle of the Somme were the heaviest we've suffered in any battle. The names of more than 1,200 men of the New Zealand Expeditionary Force who have uh, no grave are recorded here on the New Zealand Memorial to the Missing. More than 200 New Zealanders who have their own graves in the cemetery are unidentified. This is one of the reasons why it was thought appropriate that New Zealand's unknown warrior should come from the cemetery. In 2004, the body of a New Zealand soldier whose identity was only known unto God was removed from here and taken home to New Zealand. With due ceremony and the utmost respect, the body was reinterred in the tomb of the unknown warrior at Pukiapu Park in Wellington. It was amidst scenes of great emotion carried out on Armistice Day 2004. This beautiful, peaceful place is a tribute to the fine work of the Commonwealth War Graves Commission. Like all too many New Zealanders, and the many of you who are here today, I have a personal reason for being grateful for the outstanding way in which the Commission carries out its sacred mission. The Commission cares for the graves of my, for the grave of my great uncle, Robert Robert Brown, who died in June of 1916, to receive their armed tears. We New Zealanders are also grateful to the government and people of France for the way in which they have honoured and cared for the memorials and graves of our men and women who fell in the The New Zealand Battlefield Memorial that we see that this morning was unveiled in October of 1922. Right. 
thousands of others who fought and defended France in both the First and Second World Wars for one of the foundations of the strong friendship that exists between France and New Zealand today. This friendship could be seen in 1916 after the New Zealand Division was withdrawn from the front line. There occurred in the words of a New Zealand soldier a beautiful thing. He wrote, the battalions did not go back to the same billets, although they were in the same area. But as soon as the news flew around that the New Zealanders were out uh, on the battle, the French people walked for miles to get news of their friends. There was laughter and rejoicing, but tears also and sorrow. Our countries are also bound by shared values, liberty, equality and fraternity. May be the motto of France, but these are values also dear to New Zealanders. Like the people of France, New Zealanders know that sometimes such values have to be defended. This was true in 1916 and it is no less true in 2016. So on behalf of the people of Government of New Zealand, I offer our thanks to the people of Government of France for enabling our commemorations here on the soil. Thanks.